In this video, we will discuss regarding different types of cotter joint and their applications. So, first question, what is a cotter joint? A cotter joint is a mechanical joint used to connect two coaxial rods or bars, typically subjected to axial forces. It is commonly used where one of the rods or bars needs to transmit axial tension or compression. The joint is simple, easy to disassemble, and is often used in applications like connecting pistons to cylinders or in tie rods. The main components of a cotter joint, spigot, socket, and cotter. In the first figure, all the components of cotter joint are shown. And in the next figure, an assembled view of cotter joint has been shown. Socket, a hollow or partially hollow part that receives the end of one rod. Spigot, the end of the second rod that fits into the socket. Cotter, a wedge-shaped piece of metal, usually flat, inserted through slots in both the spigot and the socket. It locks the two rods together. One more component is there in some type of cotter joint. That is gib. In some designs, a gib is used along with the cotter to provide extra stability and avoid the movement of the cotter in a direction perpendicular to the load. Working principle of cotter joint. The spigot fits inside the socket, and the cotter passes through the slots in both the spigot and the socket. The cotter is driven into position, locking the parts together by friction and mechanical interference. The joint can handle both tensile and compressive forces, and it can be easily dismantled by removing the cotter. There are mainly three types of cotter joints. 1. Socket and spigot cotter joint. 2. Sleeve and cotter joint and third one gib and cotter joint. First one, socket and spigot cotter joint. This is the most common type, where one rod has a socket, a hollow end, and the other rod has a spigot, a solid end, that fits into the socket. A cotter is inserted through both to lock them together. Socket and spigot cotter joint are used in piston rod connections, valve mechanisms, and other situations where axial loads are applied. Next one, sleeve and cotter joint. Both rods are inserted into a common sleeve, which holds them together. The cotter passes through the sleeve and both rods, locking them in place. Sleeve and cotter joint are used for connecting rods of equal size, commonly found in long mechanical linkages. And the third one gib and cotter joint, similar to the socket and spigot type, but includes an additional component called a gib, which is a thin wedge-like strip. The gib ensures a tighter and more secure fit and prevents the cotter from sliding out. Gib and cotter joint are used in piston rod connections, valve mechanisms, and other situations where axial loads are applied. Advantages of cotter joint. Cotter joint is easy to manufacture and assemble with minimal components. It is ease of assembly and disassembly for quick maintenance and replacement. Due to its simple design, manufacturing costs are low. Effective for transmit tensile and compressive forces along the axis effectively. Only basic hand tools to be used for assembly and disassembly. Now if we see the disadvantages of cotter joint. It is not suitable for rotational application. Not ideal for transmitting very high load applications. May loosen under vibration, requiring regular checks. Needs periodic tightening to maintain fit. Difficult to maintain fit under dynamic loads. That's all about cotter joint. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video.